I need a team in here right now. I got a baby that came out floppy. I have no idea what's wrong. I'm the LND nurse. Here at camp, we're all very right. much aware of the negative impacts that stress can have on people's performance especially when you take a look at how one person performs and then relate that to the entire team. And so what we're doing here is we've developed a new training curriculum that helps people manage uh, their stress in high pressure situations, such as in the delivery of a newborn baby. Heart rate's below 60. Oh, God. Um, I've done warm dry stimulated. I have removed wet blankets. Yeah. The warmer's on. Just get some okay, so we'll try some PPV. Let me take a listen. Doing that. So the maybe scenario is a common scenario that happens both in the delivery rooms and it's something that we train teams for here in our simulation center. It's a scenario that involves a baby who should have come out, um, done transition to extra uterine life just fine, but for some reason came out um, with a very low heart rate and an inability to breathe on its own. Got it. So one aspect of our new training program involves using biofeedback. Specifically, some of the measures that we're looking at are respiration rate and heart rate. And the idea is for a person to be able to self-regulate when they feel themselves becoming more tense so that they can learn to relax, think more clearly, and improve their dexterity. I'm still not hearing anything. Can you see it through, through the cords? There's no change. I'm not hearing anything. What we're experiencing here at this one person is that they are reacting in a very elevated way. Their heart rate is well above 100 beats a minute. Their respiratory rate is almost 40 breaths a minute. What we noticed is that our baseline heart rates were uh, somewhat low at the beginning. And as soon as we realized the complexity and the severity of the patient care scenario, our heart rates went up, our respiratory rates went up, which meant that we were engaged, we were uh, thinking about what was going on. Seeing chest rise. Yeah. Beauty cap's changing color. Okay, so we're in. The interesting thing was is that we noticed that once the situation had resolved, we had intubated the patient, the patient's heart rate had improved to a point that we no longer needed to do chest compressions and the baby actually sort of what we call turn the corner where the baby started to move and become more responsive, all of our physiology actually went down. Um, all right, why don't I start getting unplugged while the NICU gets bed set up. And what we're going to be able to do is pinpoint that for each person, come up with a plan through Dr. Hamill who can create guided imagery to allow people to become alert to the situation of when they are becoming most stressed or aroused and then give them a tool to get their physiology down, get their heart rate down, bring their breathing rate down so that they're better able to concentrate and focus and take care of the patient. Ultimately, the whole is greater than the sum of the parts and when everyone's on the same page, they truly experience how transformational their interdependence can be so that the right care happens at the right time when seconds count.